Hey creator, I'm Josh, and I'm gonna show you the tile resample control net. This is one of my favorite control net models, but it's really not as well known as it deserves. So today we're gonna change that. Check this out. Now, as usual, first things first, I'm gonna pull something from my gallery. In this case, I've got an image of a lion. Which model did I use for this? Dream Shaper V8. Let's restore all settings and then swap models over to Dream Shaper, which is down here. V8, excellent. Now we have just kind of an average, you know, stable diffusion 1.5 image of a lion here. Majestic lion standing proudly. There's even a little bit of funkiness going on with his tail, but we will be able to deal with that. But fortunately he actually has four legs. So that's great, we don't have to fix that. But actually in terms of the composition, this is a really cool photo. Anyway, so let's go ahead and randomize our seed. And I'm going to go ahead and add this to control net by clicking at the top, which I could have, as always, I could always click and drag it over. And we're gonna choose tile resample. And what tile resample can do is it goes through and it makes a tile of the image and then it will change each of them individually so that it changes many aspects of the image but it's really consistent at making sure the composition is basically exactly the same and let me show you what i mean so when i generated this image you can see that the style prompt i used was fantasy art ethereal detailed enchanted vibrant epic even though you know it's a little bit more natural but that's okay and then I have Majestic Lion standing proudly on a rocky mountaintop, Dusk, powerful, epic. But what if I wanted to change this to be nighttime? Let's go ahead and remove Dusk and add Starry Sky and Galaxies to it. And then I'm gonna go into the Avoid prompt and I'm gonna add Sun, Sunlight, Sunshine, Day, Daytime, and Daylight. So I really don't want anything to have to do with daytime here. Let's minimize our Avoid prompt. Control Net is ready to go. Let's generate four images. Bam, isn't that so cool? I'm gonna go ahead and make this settings panel larger so that we can compare it with the original one again. So you can see it is very faithful to the original composition. Now, I don't really have a favorite because these are all very consistent. So let's open this one up. And as usual, we can always just click enhance it, which uses the flux model to make a better version of this image. Excellent, and see, now we don't have any stars where they're not supposed to be. We have a great looking image here. If you wanted to get really crazy, you could even drop this in and we could do the exact same thing again and get some even more wild stars and whatnot. Oh man, these are so cool. Let's go ahead and enhance this one once more. Rad, I like that. Let's go ahead and add it to our gallery. Now I'm gonna show you one other really cool thing that you can do with tile resample, but there's something else that's really cool that we can do with it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring over the Sogni logo into the control net so that I can make the Sogni logo look really cool in different styles. And I'm gonna use the segmentation preprocessor to remove the background. Awesome, so now we just have the Sogni logo like this. And we're still in tile resample. Now let's see what we can do with it. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my avoid prompt and I don't need to have all this other stuff that I put in there that was for the lion image. Let's minimize that. Now open up my style prompt. I think I don't want fantasy art. I'm just gonna do the default one. That'll be perfect. So we just have intricate details, breathtaking, amazing, award winning. That'll be just fine. And let's change our main prompt to be liquid metal, fluid dynamics. Let's minimize our guide image so you can kind of see the logo a little bit more. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually make this a bit smaller and then you can kind of see the Sogni logo. And let's imagine. Oh, that's so cool. It's really cool at this kind of thing where you can have the logo still be readable and be recognizable as what it is. Man, I don't even know which one I like the most. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna save, I like this one a lot. Let's add that to our gallery. But I can also go ahead and I can invert this and we can generate again and get something totally different. Man, these are even better. Okay, I'm gonna save, oh, I don't even know. I like I like these three in particular. Let's go with it, let's save this one. That's my favorite. And let's do a different one. This time I've got circuit board, technological, intricate lines, green and black. This one, I definitely want to have a dark background because, you know, circuit boards are dark and generate again. Oh, that's so rad. Okay, I'm gonna save that one. That's definitely my favorite one. And let's try a different one. I've got crystallized structure, geometric, facets, gemstone, reflective. Let's just, let's just generate. This one, I might want to invert it to get uh, kind of a, a image that's more relevant to the prompt, but dang, those are sick. Okay, let's go ahead and save that one. And I'm gonna invert this and generate once more. This is just so much fun. I can just do this all day. I'm gonna save that one and we're gonna do one more prompt. Let's do this one. Ooh, I like the smoky look. That's super cool. I like this because it's like, it's smoky, but it's also dripping down. That doesn't even make any sense, but I like it. Okay, I do want to see what that would look like if it was inverted. Ooh, that one. There we go. That's the one right there. There it is. It's easy. Okay, I know I said that was the last one, but I do want to see what watercolor would look like. But for watercolor, I definitely do want to have a white background. Let's imagine. Totally worth it. Okay, what do you think? The one on the bottom left or the bottom right? Which one's better? There's really no wrong answer here. I'm going to choose that one. Now you go have fun with this. 
Okay, you now have what you need to master the tile resample control net. Now go out there, create some stunning images, experiment with different techniques, and definitely share what you make here in our Discord. Can't wait to see what you do, and I'll see you in the next one.